Hello everybody, welcome to Rainy's Kitchen. It's early in the morning, but I'm ready for some dessert <laughs> all day. Well, when aren't we ready for dessert? <laughs> this is a fun dessert and strawberries are perfect. Mm. Strawberry pretzel tart, folks. Everybody loves this. All right, easy recipe. So first of all, you need a pan with a removable bottom, a little tart pan. This is a 10 inch. Yeah. I crushed, just so you know, enough pretzels, and I did this in my food processor to give me two full cups of the crushed pretzels. Mm -hmm. I add six tablespoons of melted butter, one beaten egg, and three tablespoons of honey. Mix, mix, mix. Yeah. Spray this whole pan with some pan spray. Mm -hmm. Press it in as evenly as possible so there are no holes. Bake it in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Let it cool completely. This can be done ahead if you want. The filling. Mm. I have mascarpone. So I put a whole eight ounces in here, but I may not use it all. Okay. And right here, I'm the going fresh to, lemon the juice. fresh lemon juice. I'm going to add about a tablespoon or so right in here. Mm. And we're going to whip this. While I'm doing this, grab the heavy cream mm -hmm. and slowly start adding it in. I think that's enough. Okay. Okay, now at this point, I'm going to add in some lemon zest, and it's all fresh, about two teaspoons or so. I'm going to add in another maybe tablespoon or so, and you can just eyeball it, of honey. Turn this back on. Mix, mix, mix. Right. And you don't want to whip this too much. You just want to make sure it's all blended. Mm -hmm. And it looks a little fluffy. I mean, literally, that's it. So that's simple. And then we lift these. <laughs> well, that's up to you. She is doing it. I'm not looking, folks. <laughs> now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to spread it all around. I ended up using all eight ounces of the mascarpone and a half of a cup of whipping cream. And you can just kind of throw these on. You don't have to. So that, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pile them in the middle, but I am going to take them to the edge. And then I'm going to drizzle some honey on here, just a little bit. Mm, an extra layer of sweetness. Yeah, that's all. And then if you want, and you don't have to, you can garnish this with some edible flowers. Why not? Well, I think it does add to it, don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, Rainia, that looks fantastic. Oh, uh, Would you like to try it? I some? would love okay. to try it. We'll cut piece. <laughs> I do not need a fork to eat this. No, Rainia. I don't think so. It's like pizza. <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks divine. Oh, good bite. It's good. It's so good, right? It's amazing. It's like so, well, mm. the saltiness and the sweetness, mm. it all goes together. It's a perfect combination. Thanks, Rainia. Easy recipe, you folks. You love this one. Oh, mm. good. <laughs> Where? I love how she's moving. <laughs> she takes it's care so of everybody. Cute. Yeah, oh, and that delicious. looked wonderful. Oh Once my again, gosh. we need to crash these segments. Like when they're just taping knock this. knock on the door. Yeah, and just be like. We're here. We heard <laughs> that you were cooking. All right, for a copy of today's recipe, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. We have it posted for you there.